let me dress half naked don't come for me don't come for me it's a celebration over here i am drinking my milk mm. i thought about having champagne guys but i'm like no this is more fitting let me get me some baby milk over here because we're celebrating we're gonna have a little mozungu at villa medellin can you believe it welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is pebbles chat thank you for always coming back don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button hitting the like button and communicating in the comment section with me help me to push my videos to the front page on youtube and therefore my video will you know get more views and that will also help me it has come to my attention on breaking news out of uh, Mombasa that Ayamawa's girlfriend is uh, three months pregnant. Yes, guys, uh, we're having a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're having a baby, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, congratulations, Rosio. I am extremely proud of you. I won't lie. This has been a surprise, a very, very big surprise for me and I think all of us reactors. We thank you for telling us this news after the bad news that happened. This is some extremely good news. It has also come to my attention that Ayamawa has purchased a push present for Rosio. She has gotten herself a brand new bag. Yes, guys, Rosio got herself a brand new shoulder bag. Now she looks like the rich Mozungu that she wants to be she looks very very rich she got herself a Chanel bag a very very nice push present and she is walking around Mombasa like a rich Mazungu with her Chanel bag guys <laughs> she's also wearing the same green pants but she is a travel you know they're backpacking everywhere and i expect i didn't expect her to pack a lot of clothes so i will give it a pass okay i'll give it a pass today i am dressed like um rocio sorry i didn't have a white top but i think that this will suffice i'm also dressed like d mwango i am showing some skin today okay it's okay to show skin <laughs> It's okay to show some skin, guys. There's nothing wrong with it as long as your privates is not showing. All right, so don't come for me. <laughs> I thought I would dress like Rocio today. How do I look? <laughs> so anyway, guys, I watched tomorrow's live today and honestly, um, I wanted to react on something else, but this came up. So I'm like, oh, go get that and run with it, girl. Run with it. So I watched Marwa's live today and I noticed that this was not normal. Marwa was not his normal self today. He was so happy and Rocio was so happy. And I thought to myself, oh my God, I've never seen this girl this happy for a very, very long time. Mombasa is the place for her. I can tell you that um, Nairobi and the village and Yabahanze is not the place for Rocio. Rocio is happy in places like Mombasa where she can find food that she is accustomed to, where it is not the hustle and bustle and, and all of that stuff. And she wants to be in places where there are other people like her, other Mazungus. And she can dress like she is rich because she was walking around her town in Mombasa with her bag. You know, it, you know, we remember everybody told her to get a bum bag or a bag across her. No, she's not wearing that. She's too cute for that, guys. She is wearing her Chanel, her push present, okay? And she is a rich Mungu, Mazungu now. She's wearing a nice sunglasses and everything and a nice top. Oh my goodness. And she looks very happy. I am so happy that she is over what happened to her in Nairobi. And um, in 
pieces of the video i think there's a part section of his video where he, he asked her about what does she think about africa so far <laughs> And the look she gave him, I'll put the video right here. Sorry, Rossi. Let's go, guys. You know, sometimes people think Africa, we don't have uh, like nice places. Now that Rossi, you've been traveling, what have you discovered? <laughs> yeah, what have you discovered? Like what? Uh, places. No because initially Rossi would say, I can't have this one here, it's the other side. Like Nairobi has literally anything you may need. Maybe Mombasa may, also it has. But Nairobi has literally anything you may want. Guys, here, the look she gave him when he said that, she's like, so what you mean? What, what, what you mean? And just gave him a look. And I'm like, why would he ask her something like that? What is she supposed to say? I just got robbed. So I'm not going to really have a lot of good things to say because I just had a terrible incident that happened to me. As you know, Marwa, he doesn't think before he asks these questions. He was asking her the same questions he was asking her right before she got robbed and saying the same things to her right before she got robbed. And she just looked at him like... She wanted to say something. She's very careful these days what she says on camera and i can tell that she's very careful because she knows that her reactors are watching people like me we're waiting for her to say something or insult black people so that we can run with it yeah 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 i'm waiting so she just gave him one look and that was it he changed the topic immediately um marwa was just telling her you know eat what you want i'll buy you what you want i'll get you what he was like bowing down to her literally he was bowing down to her in, in his life. And, you know, I realized that something was off and people in his, his chat section was saying, Rocio is pregnant. Maybe someone leaked it from the villa. I don't know. But they were like, no, Rocio is pregnant because people were also saying, you know, she's looking too skinny. Even his own subscribers were saying that something is wrong with her. She's looking too skinny. And even in my, you know, my, my uh, video that I did previously, I did mention that I didn't like how her face was sucked in like this. It was just too much. But what I've also learned is that sometimes we can't body shame people. And this one guy on Marwa's live said, oh my God, all Rocio is is nose, long hands and long skinny legs, something like that. And of course, they blocked him immediately. But I realized that you can't, I don't like to body shame people. I mean, I'm going to say she's skinny. Of course, she's skinny. And if you see something that looks like, you know, she needs help, you have to say it. You can't keep your mouth shut. But I don't like to body shame people and certain things I would not say because I'll never forget when um, Chadwick Bosman, that's his name, who, you know, the guy who did. Black Panther, when he got sick and he lost a lot of weight and he was really looking bad and people were talking so badly about him and they had no idea that this guy had cancer until he died or right before he died. That's when he told everyone what caused him to lost all that weight and that he had uh, stage four cancer or stage three cancer and shortly after he died. But I remember on Lipstick Alley, this um site forum that i go to sometimes for gossip <laughs> they talk so badly about this guy and it, it was horrible but anyway mar was trying to get this girl to eat everything he was buying her whatever she wanted and you know i knew something was different and then he said oh rosio has an announcement please go over to her channel and watch her surprise announcement there it is extremely important so of course after his live i went over to her channel and then she gave us the news that she is pregnant it's, um my little baby that is growing inside me and i think it is, it's time to to share it with you i give you more some moments, I'm in my third month right now. Uh and she also, she's three months pregnant. And then she also spoke about 
how when she first went to the village, how, you know, people uh, talk about, if people kept asking her about, you know, her, when is she going to get pregnant? And she felt violated and she felt like it was an insult and she felt that it was rude. And I also felt that way too when people kept asking her that. I did say that. But what we have to understand is that is their culture. That is the African culture. So you can't get upset over that. You know, that's their culture. They're going to ask you that. You choose to come there. Is their culture. They expect you to breed up and have kids. What's wrong with that, right? So she was upset. She, she, she didn't hold back. She talked about that. And um, she went on to surprise... Um, Congrats mom because this video that they made she made actually she made that before she left the village and she went on to surprise congrats mom with the pregnancy and Honestly guys congrats mom didn't look surprised to me I don't know if this woman just doesn't know how to act surprised because she did the same thing when D bought her a car she was like She was honestly she was even more surprised when D bought her a car right go look at it tell me if i'm lying she looked more surprised than she looked for this baby and to me a baby is more important because isn't that no that's not her first grandchild because she has a big daughter but that's her first grandchild from mawa so i would have been ecstatic like oh my god oh my god you're pregnant come here give me a hug oh my god you're pregnant no she was like yes da, da, da. let me pray for you and the Lord said, let there be light. And there was light. That was all she did. She didn't seem excited or anything. So that's strange to me. And then she went to call her parents. And her parents didn't seem that surprised either. Like, actually, I zoomed in. And on his parents, on her parents, when she said it, and I didn't see joy, overwhelming joy on their face. I honestly didn't. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. What happened to the blue eye, blue eye European guy? Why? 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 <laughs> Maybe that's what's going through their mind. But they were very polite because she told them that they were on camera. And so they were extremely polite. And, the, you know, uh, they didn't say anything that was rude. I don't speak Spanish, so half of what they were saying, I don't know. So perhaps someone in the comment section that watched her uh, video and can interpret what they said, if they said anything out of the ordinary. But all in all, they were very, very polite and they didn't seem extremely happy. The, the mama laughed once or twice and that was it. But remember Marwa told us that he doesn't think that the mom likes him. So if she doesn't, then, you know, I can't imagine after they got off the call, they probably went and called, you know, Marianne, Marianne, can you believe Rosio got knocked up? She got knocked up for a black man. We won't have blonde hair and blue eyes. We won't have a grandkid with blonde hair and blue eyes. We're going to have an N in the family. We're going to have an N in the family. <laughs> I can't imagine that, you know, perhaps that's what they said. Who knows? You know, he, he's the one who told us that she didn't like, he, the mother doesn't like him. So what do you want us to think? Right? So, you know, congratulations to Rocio. I am happy that um, she... She was able to get pregnant and because sometimes that is not easy my concern is her traveling up and down and how that will affect her and since she's in the first trimester of her pregnancy you know traveling 11 hours by bus i can't imagine the effect that will have on her um at this point i think she should be in the in the villa with her feet up and having people cater to her 
um but she wanted to travel and i guess that's what she's doing he, you know she's stubborn and that's what she wants rosio gets what Ro rosio wants so you guys let her be let her do whatever she wants and we just have to keep fingers crossed that nothing happens to her I wanted to celebrate with champagne, but I thought, <laughs> let me drink some milk. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's the story on Rocio. And then she told the guys outside that same day and they were extremely happy. That's the happiest I've ever seen anyone um, since she broke the news because the other, his mom and her mom didn't seem very happy. So yeah, the guys outside, at least they were ecstatic. They were knocking drums and clapping. And that's the happiness that I wanted to see from her family and Marwa's family, but I didn't see that. So yeah, guys, that was it. Um, you know, you can go and watch her live of her telling that story. And you know, it kind of touched my heart. Now I have to be soft on her because I have this rule. I don't react on children and old people. <laughs> and now she's carrying this baby in her. So I can't re really go hard on her anymore. Rosia, why you did this to me? You were my niche. You were my niche. Come on, man. <laughs> You're going to cause me to go soft on you now and be nice to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but now, literally, anything she wants, mom, you okay, mom, mom, mom. And he is so happy. He's like, this guy finally got his kid. He says he's 33 years old and he always wanted Mazungu kids. So finally, his dream has come true where he found a girl who was willing to get knocked up, you know, for him. And now everybody's asking, when is the wedding? I'm pretty sure she is going to say they are insulting her the same way she feels that them um, asking her about pregnancy when she first came to the village was rude and a big insult to her because it is her body and she is free to do what she wants with it. Congratulations again, Rocio. We are looking forward to <laughs> seeing your belly grow and seeing this little one come forth. Yeah, we're looking forward to this baby. Okay, whether it's a boy or a girl, because we need to know what color it's going to be. Uh, many people in the comment section are saying, oh, oh, here you go. You knocked the reactors out. They were saying this and they were saying that. Honey, let me tell you something. Nothing can knock the reactors out. Nothing can knock us out. If anything, that is more content because that will be more drama if she leaves him. Child support. Have you ever heard of that? She can. Uh, she's just probably securing the bag. So say whatever you all want to say, darling. Reactors are here to stay. You guys just upset us more when you come out and say things about, oh, reactors, what are they going to say now? Yes, Rosio, you shot them in the face. Yes, you slapped them, Rosio. Yes, let them take that. Sometimes the reason why some of us react is because of these supporters. They're supporters because of the things they say. Because honestly, I didn't, I wasn't going to react today. But after I saw that, I said, you know what? Let me go react on that. Show this person that this is more content for reactors. Positive reactors and negative reactors. Because I guarantee you, those are the people who call themselves positive reactors. Because I don't know the difference, to be honest. I don't feel like I'm a negative reactor. But those ones who call themselves positive reactors, that's content for them as well. If they don't talk about Marwa and Rocio, they don't have any content either. There you go. <laughs> yes, guys. So on to the next topic. And this may be boring. <laughs> this next topic may be boring after that breaking news, right? Um... The horse guy had mentioned a couple days ago that they were banned from recording at Villa Medellin. And someone in a comment section 
ask this question why did jamaican uncle and congrats mom ban you from recording at villa medellin is jamaican uncle overstepping his boundaries here is jamaican uncle believing that he now owns villa medellin because marwa is not there and he is suddenly the man in charge he made himself the man in charge who is he to tell people what to do this is how these guys get paid i remember when mara was leaving he told the, the manager that he didn't have money and he will try to get something sorted out to pay them so he really is not paying them and these guys making content that's how they're going to make their little five dollars per week and that's how they're going to connect with um you know donators or donors to get cup get paid get a couple of dollars because marwa is not really paying them especially now that he's not there so why is jamaican uncle telling these people they can't make content again is jamaican uncle going to pay them a salary for working there is jamaican uncle uncle gonna go get the horse feed food if these guys decide to quit jamaican uncle you are flying a jamaican would say and i think he'll understand this because he's a true raw jamaican jamaican uncle you are flying past your ruse sir respectfully so it is not up to you and i don't think it's even up to congrats mom either i i don't know i mean she can't control her her uh, own house so why is she trying to control marwa's villa there's a manager there that's why he left to manager there. Let her tell them that they can record. So people were upset at that because they like this little guy who's taking care of the horses and all the other animals, the uh, rabbits and stuff like that. You know, and they look forward to him telling these rabbits, stand at attention <laughs> every morning, you know? So when they realized that he was not posting, I think some of them got upset. Um, I see the the fish guy posting and doing whatever he wants so i'm not sure why they stopped the horse guy i think because people were talking about how the horses are being starved and um i guess jamaican uncle didn't like that and congrats mom he probably spoke to congrats mom about it and that's where she jumped in because i don't see that in congrats mom character to tell people you can't to be that aggressive to say you can't um, make content on the compound yeah so i just wanted to to touch on that the other thing that i wanted to touch on i guess was oh d i wanted to touch on d because and i don't really react much on d but it is disturbing you know to me some of the things that d does it it, it it annoys the crap out of me and some of you may say it's none of my business but guess what you're on social media it's also going to be all of our business and she is young i am not going to complain about her dressing like this okay because i am not young i am old and i dress like this they say i'm old i'm over 50 okay i'm way over 50 and yeah i dress like this and there is nothing wrong with it as long as my you know twins are not showing it's okay it's not see-through my twins are not showing i feel like this is okay if my back is showing a little bit it, depending where i am i would not go to a restaurant wearing this i would not i'm in my house so i wouldn't you know i'm not it's, i would go outside in the park and places like that but i'm not going to be out there in a restaurant or you know if i'm on vacation i wear this as well so you know places like that i don't see anything wrong with dressing half naked what i had an issue with though when it comes to d was her wearing her thong off the beach onto you know the shopping area or the restaurant area with her thong up in her butt and you know that's what cover-ups are for when you go to the beach you get yourself a nice cover-up you go swimming with your thong as you walk out you know of the water or leave that beach area you put a cover-up it's a cover-up around you a sarong wrap or a cover-up over your body that's what you do and 
she just doesn't care. She is just out there with her butt cheeks flopping, flopping in every guy's face the same way she was doing the same thing with Aquino. Right? And to me, that's just disgusted, D. Cover up. Cover up. D, you want to be a classy young lady. So please, go and purchase yourself a very nice cover up. For when you leave the beach area, you just throw it on or a little sarong something tie around your waist even a t-shirt will do even a shirt just throw that over you and you are fine then she ran into this guy sitting on the beach and you could see she's out there the reason why d is out there dressed like this is because she's trying to attract a rich man that's why she's in the cayman islands she someone probably told her listen you have to go to these countries where the wealthy people hang out and yes the cayman islands is one of them and she's on the beach half naked because she's trying to catch a man. Girl, let me tell you something. The only thing they will do to you is take you to the room, bang you, and that's it. Because a lot of wealthy men, a lot of them, especially the old money wealthy men, they like class and sophistication. That's what they like. Okay, they will be attracted to a girl who looked like a HOE for a short period of time. Don't mind those rappers going out and marrying girls who look like HOE. If you look at the ones that they marry that looks like an HOE, look at the type of girls they are. They are not black African girls. I can tell you that. They're not black African girls. No, ma'am, they are not. Okay. So, you know, she started questioning this guy about his watch. Is that a Rolex? Oh, your phone, why is it broken? When did it get broken? Because apparently this guy is saying that he's wealthy. So to her, how can you be wealthy with a broken phone? You have a point. <laughs> so this man lied and said he, his phone just fell and broke that same day. Sir, I know that's a lie. Anyway, then he went on to brag about all the cars, be, you know, because of course she's asking him about his Lamborghini. If he, do you own a Lamborghini and all that nonsense? And I'm looking at this girl like, those are not questions you ask someone you just bump into. If you're trying to get to know them, those are extremely personal questions. Even on a second, third date, certain questions you don't ask. You have a conversation with someone. And through that conversation, if you listen keenly, you will already know if this man is rich or if he is broke. That's how you should do it, darling. But no. D is set on finding a man with a Lamborghini. And then she started asking him about baby mama because someone probably told her Jamaican men have a lot of baby mamas. That man must have been an idiot because the minute she asked me that, that would have been an insult and I would not have responded. But he went on to tell her all about the five baby mamas he has. Would D approach a white man and ask that question about how many baby mamas you have? No, she would not. So why do it to a black man? That was extremely rude. But then again, people are blaming it on her age and she's young. D acts like she is ghetto. But then she wants to say, oh, I'm in business class. I am just, uh, I am leveling up right now. Well, you have to level up your education, my dear. You have to level up the way you communicate with people, okay? You have to level up with current events so you can have good questions to ask and good discussions when you run into people. Just telling them, I don't, yeah, and this, da, da, da. That's a conversation starter. There's nothing wrong with that. But telling them, oh, you've been to this place and that place, that's a great conversation starter. But then you need to know other things as well. You can't just dwell on, oh, what you own, what you have. Yeah, what kind of car do you have? And this man was so happy that she asked him some of these questions because he's a bragger. He just went on to brag. And then she asked, so do you have a yacht? At least she pronounced yacht correctly this time, guys. That tells me that she's watching us <laughs> because we did knock her on that one. And, you know, he said no. And I'm looking at him, so you're bragging how wealthy you are in the Cayman Islands that is surrounded by water and you have five you know, fancy cars in the Cayman Islands and you don't have a yacht, sir. 
you're not that wealthy. <laughs> you are not that rich. You're rich, but probably not rich, rich, okay? Because if you were rich, rich, you would have a boat, even if it's a regular boat. Most people in those islands with money, they have a boat because on Sundays and weekends and, you know, certain holidays, that's what people do. They go out on their boat. That island is small. Where are you, you going to drive the five fancy cars you have on that island? Nowhere. So that makes no sense. Maybe that's what he's flipping. Cars. We don't know. He didn't say what he's flipping. He says he's a flipper. We don't know if it's drugs. We don't know if it's cars. We don't know if it's money because we all know about the Cayman Islands and what they're known for. Okay, money laundering. So we don't know what he's flipping. If it's house, burgers, cars, she didn't ask. That would have been one of my questions. So tell me, you know, what line of business are you in? That kind of thing. And when he went on to the flipping, then I would kind of dig a little bit more into that. Perhaps that's something you can teach me how to do. And da, da, da. let's have a conversation. Here is my business card. Simple, but no, she was only interested in, in his Lamborghini. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. It is a, well, it's not a quick, um, a quick video. But please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I am going to finish my milk. <laughs> I'm going to go finish my milk, guys. <laughs> Happy Sunday and thank you for watching me. See you guys soon.